Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bobby cake. Doesn't this look amazing? Can you believe you can eat that? It's a cake. So for this, you're going to need 400 grams of pink buttercream frosting, 150 grams of royal icing, 500 grams of pink fondant icing, and five large chocolate sponge cakes. You're also going to need a rolling pin, 50 grams of white fondant icing, sugar flowers, a Barbie doll wrapped in cling film, a piping bag, a number two piping nozzle, and a cookie cutter. So, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to put some buttercream icing on a base. We're then going to stick our first piece of sponge down. Add some more buttercream icing to create the middle. And then another bit of the sponge. Add some more buttercream icing, another layer of sponge, and repeat. Now we're going to use our cookie cutter to cut a hole in the centre for our doll. You'll have to remove the bits by hand. Scoop them out. And shape the edge of the top. This is so that it looks like a dress. Now that we've got the main bulk of the dress, we're going to cover it in pink frosting. Now refrigerate that for two hours. Now we're going to take some pink fondant icing to make the bodice. Roll it flat using your rolling pin. Make sure that it fits the top of the Barbie doll. We're going to use a little bit of water to make sure that it sticks and then we're going to wrap it around Barbie's midriff. Cut off any excess and press it together. I'm shaping the bust line. Perfect. Now it's time to add a little bit of water to our royal icing. Give it a good stir and then spoon it into your piping bag. Now we're going to take some of the white fondant icing to make the bottom of the petticoat. Use your rolling pin to roll it flat. Remember to lightly dust your work surface so it doesn't stick. Use your knife to create nice, even edges. We're now going to pinch it and wrap it around the bottom. This will create a ruffled look. This is the base of the skirt. See? Now we're going to make the bulk of the dress. Lightly dust your work surface and take your pink fondant icing. Roll it flat. We need it to be as big as possible because we've got a big dress to cover. Make sure the edges have been cut so they're nice and straight. Great. Now it's time to lay it over our base. Drape the fondant icing it will ripple and bunch at the top, but that's fine because it makes it look like real material. 
cut off any excess in the middle. And now drape some more. Wow, it's looking great. Perfect. I'm pinching up some selective bits at the bottom so that we can see the white petticoat. Now it's time to pop Barbie inside. Press her down. Now we're going to use the rest of the white fondant icing for the dress. Use a bowl to create a giant circle. And use the piping nozzle as a template to create a semicircle around the edge. Just like this. Clever, huh? You can now use a cookie cutter to create the central circle. Create a cut so that you can put it around Barbie's waist. This will hide the seam between the dress and the bodice. We're now using royal icing to decorate. These look like tiny pearls at the top of the dress. And down the center. So pretty! Now it's time to attach the icing flowers. You can decorate wherever you want. I'm also decorating around the bottom of the dress. It looks so pretty. Can you believe that this is icing and you can eat it? Remember, patience is the key. So pretty! I'm finishing off with some lovely pink flowers. And a final touch of optional edible glitter. And there you have it. Look at Barbie go. Doesn't she look amazing? What a great birthday cake. And it's super delicious too. So there you have it everyone, a Barbie cake. 